Welcome to the infinite world of cosmic wonders. Today, we will dive into a journey that will take us beyond the familiar terrain of our home planet, Earth, into the mysterious and vast expanse of our solar system. This is not a journey of known facts and figures, but a journey into the unknown, into the enigmatic and the inexplicable. Our solar system, a tiny speck in the grand scale of the universe, is teeming with mysteries that even the brightest minds have yet to unravel. From the peculiar shape of the dwarf planet Homia, to the curious color changes on Triton, the source of Saturn's hexagon, the tenuous rings of Cheriklo and Chiron, the enigmatic white spots on Vesta, the mysterious disappearance of Mars's water, the mystery of Martian methane, to the origin of Phobos and Deimos, our solar system is a treasure trove of unsolved cosmic puzzles that continue to baffle us. So, fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this exciting journey of discovery, exploring the strangest things in our solar system that scientists cannot explain. Up first, let's delve into the puzzling shape of Haumea. Have you ever wondered about the mysteries of our solar system that even scientists can't explain? Well, one of these is the intriguing shape of Haumea. Haumea, a dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, is like no other. It's as if an artist, determined to break free from the constraints of round planets and moons, decided to craft something truly unique. Picture a spinning top, whirling so fast that it becomes stretched, its sides bulging outwards. That's Haumea, in essence, a celestial body shaped more like a flattened ellipsoid than a sphere. Unlike most of its spherical cousins in the solar system, Haumea rotates at a surprisingly fast pace. Picture this. While Earth takes 24 hours to complete a single rotation, Haumea spins round and round in less than four hours. This rapid rotation is thought to be the driving force behind its peculiar shape, causing the planet to stretch outwards along its equator and squash down at its poles. But this begs the question, how did Haumea come to spin so rapidly in the first place? What cataclysmic event in its past set it spinning like a celestial top? These are the questions that keep astronomers up at night, and the answers are not forthcoming. Some speculate that a massive impact could have set Haumea spinning, while others suggest that gravitational interactions with other celestial bodies might be responsible. Yet, Despite the myriad of theories, none have been able to fully explain the mysteries behind Haumea's odd shape and fast rotation. This enigmatic dwarf planet continues to defy our understanding, a reminder that the universe is full of wonders that are yet to be explained. Scientists continue to puzzle over the peculiar spinning top shape of Haumea, hoping to uncover its secrets. As we journey further into the cosmos, who knows what other intriguing mysteries we might uncover? For now, Haumea remains a captivating enigma, a celestial puzzle waiting to be solved. Neptune's Moon Triton holds another of our solar system's unsolved mysteries, its curious color changes. Triton, the largest of Neptune's 13 moons, presents a fascinating spectacle for astronomers. It's not just its icy surface or retrograde orbit that draws attention, but the significant seasonal shifts in its coloration that leaves scientists scratching their heads. Imagine a chameleon in space, its colors changing with the seasons. That's Triton for you. As Neptune's frosty moon enters its long summer, peculiar dark streaks begin to appear across its southern hemisphere, like an artist randomly splashing dark paint on a white canvas. These streaks aren't just for show. They hint at complex seasonal processes happening beneath Triton's icy exterior. But what causes these dramatic changes in color? That's where things get tricky. One theory suggests this could be due to the sublimation of Triton's icy surface. As Triton's summer sun warms the ice, it transforms directly from a solid to a gas, rising and revealing darker materials beneath. Yet this theory is far from confirmed as the exact composition of these dark materials remains a mystery. Another hypothesis points to the possibility of organic compounds or even primitive life forms influencing these color changes. But again, this is purely speculative and requires further exploration. The truth is, we don't know exactly why Triton changes its colors. It's a puzzle that continues to challenge our understanding of the solar system's dynamics. Triton's beauty is more than skin deep. 
Its color changes offer a unique window into the geological and atmospheric processes shaping this distant moon. Each shift in color might be a piece of the puzzle, a clue towards unraveling the secrets of Triton's past and present. It's a tantalizing mystery waiting to be solved, a reminder of how much we still have to learn about our cosmic neighborhood. The chameleon-like color changes of Triton leave us with more questions than answers. But that's the beauty of space exploration. Every question opens up new avenues of discovery, pushing us to look deeper, to understand more, and to keep exploring the vast wonders of our solar system. Saturn, the jewel of our solar system, hides a geometric riddle at its north pole, a hexagonal jet stream. This isn't your ordinary swirl of clouds. It's a six-sided hurricane-like vortex, spanning 25,000 miles across with winds that whip around at close to 200 miles per hour. But what's truly astounding is that this hexagonal storm has been raging on Saturn's North Pole for at least four decades, possibly much longer. First spotted by NASA's Voyager missions in the early 80s, the hexagon has been a constant fixture in every observation since. So what's behind this cosmic oddity? The truth is, we're not entirely sure. Several theories have been proposed, but none have been proven definitively. One popular hypothesis suggests that the hexagon is a natural result of fluid dynamics. In this model, different wind speeds at different latitudes create a wave pattern that eventually locks into a hexagonal shape. Another theory posits that the hexagon might be the outcome of an enormous storm churning at the pole, with the hexagonal shape being the most stable configuration for this particular storm. But this theory doesn't explain why the same phenomenon isn't observed at Saturn's South Pole. Then there's the idea that the hexagon is a standing wave, a resonating vibration pattern in the atmosphere, much like the resonating sound wave in a musical instrument. But again, while intriguing, this theory doesn't have conclusive evidence to back it up. The hexagon of Saturn is one of those phenomena that remind us how much we still have to learn about our universe. Even with all our advancements in technology and understanding, Saturn's hexagonal jet stream continues to elude explanation. It's a reminder of the enduring mysteries that our solar system holds, waiting to be unraveled by the curious minds of scientists. The hexagonal mystery of Saturn's North Pole continues to baffle scientists. But rest assured, the quest for answers is far from over. With every new mission and every new discovery, we inch closer to understanding the enigmatic beauty of our solar system. Two minor planets between Jupiter and Neptune, Chariklo and Chiron, have surprised astronomers with their unexpected rings. Yes, you heard it right, rings, just like Saturn, but on a much smaller scale. Now, you might be thinking, what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you, these aren't your everyday planetary rings. They are narrow, faint, and circling two of the smallest objects in our solar system known to have such features. Chariklo, discovered in the late 19th century, and Chiron, found in the late 20th century, belong to a group of celestial bodies known as centaurs. These mysterious objects are considered as minor planets, orbiting between Jupiter and Neptune, and are believed to be remnants from the early solar system. The discovery of rings around Chiriklo and Chiron was nothing short of a surprise. The rings were detected when these centaurs passed in front of stars, causing the starlight to dim in a way that suggested the presence of rings. Imagine the astonishment of the astronomers when they realized that these minor planets had their own miniature ring systems. But here's the catch. The origin and stability of these rings are subjects of ongoing research. How did they form? How do they persist? These questions puzzle scientists. One theory proposes that the rings could be remnants of a moon that was shattered by an impact. Another theory suggests that they might be composed of material ejected from the centaurs themselves. Understanding these rings could provide crucial insights into the early solar system. They might even tell us something about the formation of our own planet. But for now, they remain a mystery a cosmic riddle waiting to be solved. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember that there's more to it than meets the eye. There are tiny worlds out there, like Chiriklo and Kiran, with their own little rings silently orbiting in the darkness of space. 
The tenuous rings of Chariklo and Chiron keep us guessing about their origins. And isn't that the beauty of astronomy? The more we discover, the more we realize how much we have yet to learn. The asteroid Vesta, one of the largest in the asteroid belt, is dotted with enigmatic white spots that perplex scientists. Vesta, a name that echoes throughout the cosmos, is a massive body that resides in the asteroid belt nestled between Mars and Jupiter. This colossal asteroid, roughly the size of Arizona, is distinguished not only by its size, but also by the peculiar white spots that adorn its surface. These bright spots, scattered across the asteroid's rugged landscape, have been a subject of intrigue and speculation since they were first observed. Among these spots, some are known to be impact craters, the result of violent collisions with other celestial bodies. These collisions are so forceful that they excavate the surface, revealing the brighter underlying material. This impact-driven phenomenon is not uncommon in our solar system. Yet what sets Vesta apart is the sheer number of these white spots, and more importantly, the mystery surrounding their composition and origin. While we have a general understanding of the impact craters, many other white spots remain an enigma. Their composition seems to differ from the surrounding surface and even from the impact craters themselves. This has sparked numerous hypotheses among scientists. Some propose that these spots could be deposits of volatile materials like water ice or salts, possibly remnants of ancient impacts. Others suggest they could be patches of a more reflective rock, exposed over time through weathering and asteroid quakes. Despite the various theories, the conclusive evidence needed to unlock the mystery of these white spots still eludes us. Each new observation and study adds a new piece to the puzzle, yet the full picture remains hidden. It's a testament to the vast and unending mysteries that our universe holds. The exploration of Vesta with its enigmatic white spots is a journey into the unknown. It's a reminder that even in our own cosmic backyard, there are still mysteries that challenge our understanding and ignite our curiosity. The white spots on Vesta remain an unsolved cosmic mystery. Mars, our neighboring planet, once had flowing water. But where did it go? This is one of the greatest mysteries in our solar system. This red planet, barren and seemingly inhospitable, was not always so. Mars holds a myriad of secrets, and one of its most captivating is the tale of its lost water. The evidence is etched into the Martian landscape itself. There are ancient river valleys, winding and vast, that slice through the terrain. They whisper stories of a time when water flowed freely here, carving its path into the Martian soil. Then there are the lake beds, now dry and desolate. They are remnants of a time when Mars was a wet world, with bodies of water that may have mirrored our own Earth's oceans and seas. These features are silent witnesses to a Mars that once was, a Mars that could have possibly supported life as we know it. But the water is gone. Today, only a fraction remains, locked up in the polar ice caps and underground reservoirs. The rest vanished, leaving behind a planet that is now more desert than oasis. So where did it all go? This is the question that has puzzled scientists for decades. Some theories suggest that most of the water evaporated into space, stripped away by solar winds over billions of years. Others propose that the water may have retreated underground, trapped beneath the surface in a network of hidden reservoirs. However, none of these theories provide a complete answer. The disappearance of Mars's water is a mystery that continues to challenge our understanding of planetary evolution. It is a riddle that fuels our curiosity and drives us to explore the universe. Each new discovery, each piece of the puzzle brings us a step closer to solving this enigma. The mystery of Mars's missing water continues to intrigue scientists, and as long as it remains unsolved, it will continue to inspire our quest for knowledge and our journey to the stars. Mars has another mystery up its sleeve, the presence of methane in its atmosphere. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a conundrum that has been baffling scientists for years. Imagine a planet known for its barren deserts and thin atmosphere having traces of methane, a gas associated with life here on Earth. Now, the detection of methane isn't a straightforward affair. It's not like there's a constant cloud of it hanging around Mars. No, it's much more elusive. The concentration of methane on Mars varies with location and time. 
Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not, and sometimes it's somewhere in between. So where does this methane come from? Well, that's the million-dollar question. You see, methane can be produced by a variety of sources. On Earth, a significant portion of methane comes from biological sources, living organisms. But methane can also be produced geologically through processes involving heat and pressure deep within a planet's crust. Naturally, the prospect of biological methane on Mars is tantalizing. It could potentially indicate the presence of microbial life, or at least the remnants of it. But it's equally possible that the methane originates from geological processes. Mars is, after all, a geologically active planet with volcanic activity and shifting tectonic plates. Scientists have been grappling with this mystery, devising theories, conducting experiments and sending rovers to Mars to gather more data. But as of now, the source of Martian methane remains elusive. Yet this uncertainty doesn't dampen our spirits. Instead, it fuels the fire of curiosity. It's mysteries like these that keep us exploring, keep us asking questions, and keep us reaching for the stars. After all, isn't the pursuit of the unknown one of the most exciting parts of being human? In the grand cosmic theater, Mars continues to play its part perfectly, keeping us intrigued and providing more questions than answers. And so, the Martian methane mystery keeps scientists on their toes. The moons of Mars, Phobos and Deimos, are curiously small and irregular. Where did they come from? These Martian moons have been the subject of scientific intrigue for years, with their origins remaining largely uncertain. Unlike our own moon, which is spherical and roughly a quarter the size of Earth, Phobos and Deimos are tiny, with irregular shapes. They look more like asteroids than moons, and this observation has led to one of the most prominent theories about their origin. The capture theory suggests that both Phobos and Deimos were once part of the asteroid belt, a region of space between Mars and Jupiter filled with rocky remnants from the early solar system. At some point in the distant past, these two bodies were likely drawn in by Mars's gravitational pull and became trapped in orbit, becoming the red planet's moons. But, like any good mystery, there are alternative theories. Some scientists propose that Phobos and Deimos were formed from Mars itself, ejected into space when a massive object struck the planet. This is similar to the theory of how our own moon was formed. Yet another theory suggests that these moons were created from the debris left over after a giant impact on Mars. This would mean that they are made of the same stuff as Mars. But this theory is challenged by the fact that the moons are much darker than Mars, indicating a different composition. Each theory has its strengths and weaknesses, and none can be confirmed or refuted conclusively with the current data. Future missions to these moons may provide the clues needed to solve this celestial puzzle. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of our solar system, we continue to be reminded of how much we have yet to learn. The story of Phobos and Deimos is not just about two small moons orbiting Mars. It's a tale of the early solar system, of cosmic collisions and gravitational dances. The origin of Phobos and Deimos is yet another unsolved puzzle in our fascinating solar system.